we just crack the filters loose here. Sounding better. It's still funny though. Ah, turn it off. <laughs> Mine never did that before. I mean, it's too much pressure. <laughs> Coat's gonna smell like diesel forever. <laughs> as tight as I can get my hand, should be good. As tight as I can get my hand with a greasy hand. Oh, turn it off. Was that tight? As tight as I can get it by hand. Something's wrong there. Why is it blowing it everywhere? Um. I'm gonna take the filter right off and check the gasket. Or to try to tighten it up with this. Well, it might have blown the gasket out. Yeah. Why is it all rusty? Uh, probably because this is an open lip. Oh. So that's probably just salt from just this winter, I would assume. Why does the O-ring not fit in there properly anymore? There we go. It's supposed to be like hexagonal shape. I think that's to keep the O-ring in there nice. Oh. Now how do we bleed it? Well, the filter's right full. Just like that. You should probably get a fuel pressure gauge. Yep. Where did that red one go? Right here. Because I don't know what mine was. It, I think it was pretty cheap. Obviously, you have to put it somewhere. But at least you know you... Like, it, mine, when it sounded funny, it had zero pressure. Well, the thing is, mine sounded like this since I can remember it being installed. Oh. And I haven't noticed a performance difference at all. So you should just get a and gauge. So, considering that, it made 350 horsepower on this... Yeah. Sounding pump. I don't know, maybe we can actually get a... Look back at that video to see if we can hear the pump anywhere in it. We'll see if it speeds up. Kind of inconsistent. Hmm. It wasn't making that funny noise before though, was it? It was Almost. faster before. But I feel like it is slowly speeding up. Like it's pulling air in yeah. from somewhere. It's making like a clicking noise now though. Yeah, mine did that too when the air bubbles were going through it. But it would clear itself out. How full is your tank right now? It's like three quarters. Hmm. Because mine only did this when I got below a quarter. When you fill up and it'd be fine again. Yours kind of self primed itself. Yeah. As long as you go below a quarter, it's self prime itself. Um, if anything's driving air, it's got to be one of these figs. But like they're all those and, and the, the problem, the other problem is it was just under oil. So you can't see like what hose. Yeah. If anything, you know, lots of people say they have a problem from the tank to the pump. But, yeah, but you have some. I do. So I did some research, there's a couple of YouTube videos and you can look at Fast's website themselves. You're supposed to crack the first filter to bleed air out of the system. So we first started actually with the rear filter um, and it sounded like some air came out. Then we tried the front filter and just like went everywhere. That's why Josh is there doing that. Probably lost like a liter of diesel. Um, so I don't know why, I don't think they expect you to, it to be bled and that to happen. Josh said he has never seen that before. 
I bled mine probably like seven or eight times and never had that. So we don't know what's up with that. It's also, now that we bled it somewhat, it's making a different noise now. So, not sure if we either have a faulty pump or it's taking air from somewhere still and making noise. We'll have to figure that out still. The truck doesn't run right now anyways, you'll find out soon why. Not because of that. Um, I plan on, before I start driving the truck a lot in the spring, I will put a fuel pressure gauge in there, whether it's a tuner or a mechanical gauge, one of the two. So stop commenting for me to get a gauge, because I will. I'm just going through hard times. <laughs> don't, don't use that. Is that really a surprise to you? He does own two Fords. Three, actually. The idea counts. Oh, okay. Three Fords.